What's up everyone? Today we're gonna to change our inline high pressure fuel filter. So let's get into it. To find your high pressure inline fuel filter, right down here, there's a sleeve on it with a zip tie. This is where your high pressure fuel inline fuel filter is located. So we're gonna remove that zip tie, move this sleeve, and go ahead and change that inline fuel filter. Carefully remove the zip tie and try not to lose it down at the bottom of the motor. And I also recommend changing this inline fuel filter since there is no guidance, I would do it every 100 hours or annually. All right, we got the zip tie removed. I put some shop towels down underneath because when we disconnect from the fuel filter, we're still gonna have residual fuel in there, it'll leak out. And once we'll disconnect them, I'll disconnect this one first to uh, slide this sleeve off. So you're gonna see these red, hopefully you can see it, but there's these red clips. You're gonna push onto the clip. It should release that fuel line. This part of the fuel line, there we go. Then that'll allow you to get this sleeve off of that inline fuel filter. Now we'll remove the second portion, same thing, just push the red button. Now pull the fuel filter out. There we go. So here's your inline fuel filter. What I'll do is I'll dump it out and I'll check to see if the fuel's clean and I'll check this filter to see if I've got any contamination in there. So once again, here's that inline fuel filter that we just took out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this one open and we're gonna take a look inside after I'm done installing the new one. So now we're gonna install the new filter. You want this arrow to go toward the back of the motor. So where the dots are is toward the back and the flush portion is toward the front. So the filter itself is facing the back of the motor. So we'll go ahead and attach to the first section you heard it clip in then we're going to put the sleeve back on reattach the back section that'll also clip right in there we go fuel filters installed we're going to add a zip tie and collar done all right we've added the zip tie remove all your rags wipe up any excess fuel you have down there as much as you can so here's the inside of the old filter and now we're going to remove the filter component itself all right so i removed the filter and split it open but if I go ahead and open it inside to see if, you know, we had any contaminants or anything in there, it looks pretty clean overall. It's still a great idea to replace it once a year. Thanks for checking the video out. I hope it helped you guys with uh, any unanswered questions when it came to the high pressure inline fuel filter. Um, once again, I appreciate you guys. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit that like button. If you have an idea of a video you want to see, please let me know. I'll do my best to try to uh, get that accomplished. Really appreciate you guys. We'll see you soon.